Hi guys and ladies, I made potato crusted fish with low carb flakes before and it was one of my best recipes ever. But I want to change up a little bit on that recipe because I found another that's even more suited to my Italian taste buds. I have all the fixings, ah, 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 except you know what, <laughs> the fish. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. Today I want to try using this. It's a slip bobber, mostly because it's just fun to see a fish bite. And at the end, I have a 1 16th ounce jig with a mealworm on it. <laughs> Please look in the description box below and I'll have all the fishing tackle and a lot, lot more. Uh, let's get out there and fish. Hey, we got our first. There's something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Woo! Nice. The lake is over a foot low due to drought. The heat today is oppressive. That's another reason to go a little deeper in trying to catch our favorite fish, bluegill. We need to get down deep where the water is cooler, but not too deep where there's no oxygen. Mm -hmm. Somebody has it. It's a fighter. <laughs> he doesn't look like much, but he's a fighter. Wow. Going to put another worm on, like this, see? Start near the head, under the chin. If he had it, do mealworms have chins? Anyway, then you thread it in there, and then come out, so it looks like that. Yes, yes, a little guy. How little is it? Oh, I said a little guy. Oh my goodness, it's big. Wow. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got a fish. Oh my gosh. The uh, bobber just went flat, and I thought it was on a branch, but no, it was in, <laughs> in this guy's mouth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, he's not real big, but he's good enough. Look at that, look at that. Yes. Yes. Ha 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 ha. It had been a long time, and now I've got a big one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. gosh, eight fish. Mm. Well, looky here. We have eight fish on the stringer. I'm alone this weekend, so this ought to give me uh, over a pound of fish fillets, more than enough for my Italianized fish dinner. So let's get in the house, fillet them, and tomorrow I'll prepare a good meal. Here it is, the next day. We did okay yesterday, despite the heat, we caught eight bluegill, and that produced over, way over, a pound of fillets. Well, I'm alone here tonight, so I'm just going to uh, make this. This is three quarters of a pound of those uh, fillets. I want to get started on our Italian fish recipe right away, but 
man does not live by bluegill alone. I think that's from the Bible. So let's make a simple side dish. Here I have this half-used jar of piquillo peppers. It's been in the fridge for uh, only a few years. So let's cut these things into strips. Now, more traditionally, you could use these. Uh, these are regular roasted uh, red peppers, and they're almost the same. It's just that piquillos are a bit sweeter. Let's add a little sprinkle of garlic powder, probably an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm going to add just a little of this sweet onion. Here I'm chopping Italian parsley. I, I found it in the fridge. It's still good after three weeks. Look what I found in the fridge. Fontanella cheese. Now this is spicy, but it's also a lot creamier than, say, parmesan. Let's see if I could shred it. What happens if I do this whole? Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Slices. A little from these holes and a little from this hole. Oh, I'm so crazy about cheese. I think I overdid it. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> I hope you realize I'm making this up. Let's just put pepper. I don't know how much. Let's go with a little Italian seasoning. Maybe, oh, I don't know, quarter of a teaspoon. And how about a little salt? Not much. I'll keep this in the fridge for a little while. Let's get started on our fish. I'm going to start with two eggs. I'm just going to beat these a little bit. In goes one third cup of heavy whipping cream. It's time for dry ingredients and I have instant mashers. These are low carb and I've got a foil packet here and I'm going to dump that into this bowl here. Here I'm mixing in five or six tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, Parmesan. Now I'm throwing in a teaspoon of this Italian seasoning. Now I'll take our fish fillets, I'll run them through this uh, egg wash here, then pat them into the potato flakes, and then put them in the dish. There you go. <laughs> the last bluegill. Okay, there we have it. Let's get the frying pan out. You know, there was just a scientific study out that said butter is not bad for you. Well, I'm low carb. I happen to think that butter is actually good for you. Now, there's one stick of salted butter, and now I'm just going to coat the bottom with uh, peanut oil. You could use any vegetable oil. I'm letting this heat up to 360 degrees. It, you might be wondering where my frequent guest, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is. You know, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic? Well, she wanted to take her youngest little students from the Culinary Arts Institute to the state fair. You see, they're practicing their food reviews. They're doing it on corn dog kiosks. <laughs> well, she plans to be back here next week, so, well, you know, I might win her heart then. Let's put our fish in. Away from you. I learned that on YouTube. I'm going to cook these fish about two and a half minutes on side one, and then flip them and do another two minutes on the other side. It's about two minutes. That's all you need. Oh, look, crispy. They look crispy anyway. Oh, wow. I'm getting them out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping they would come out crispy. And look, they have. It's time for our taste test. Here's the fish tartar sauce. Mmm. It's crispy. It has some crispiness. That red pepper salad is really good. The fish is crispy. I'm really, really happy with the way things turned out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh no! Uh, I'm in a tree.